This is my sunburst diving beetle tank. I'm going to be setting it up with some land areas pretty soon. Adding in a little more water as well. Probably thinning the tank out a little bit because there's a whole bunch of these sunburst diving beetles in here. Their species name is Thermonectus marmoratus. And this is a species that has never been regularly available in the hobby before. I used to make trips down here to Arizona, where I now live, to source the few beetles of this species that I wanted. It's a real pleasure now to be down here and to have access to them right here in my own yard. They fly into my black lights at night. Yes, they can fly very well and rather long distances because during certain parts of the year, I'm not super close to any flowing bodies of water, but they're real common in temporary pools and will sometimes, when either those pools dry up or if the rains come and they feel like they can fly around a little bit, they'll move on. See that one there has a droplet at the tip of its abdomen. They will routinely move up towards the surface of the water and collect some air through the tip of their abdomen. That one just did it. Back the camera off here a little bit. See if another one goes up there and does it. But they are air breathers, and so unlike fish, the water quality isn't the same issue that it is for them. There, you saw one go up there and collect a droplet of air. And that's how they breathe. We feed them fish food pellets. We'll occasionally sprinkle fruit flies up onto the surface. Actually, I did that a few hours ago and I see that there is a fruit fly there at the very edge of the water line. I've got a banded diving beetle right there. It's also in the genus Thermonectus. I like these sunburst diving beetles there. There's one, rarely see them out partially like this. But what I need to do to set up this tank, because I would like to breed them, is build a land area. So I might flip this over and put some mud in it. And the beetles will apparently come up to it, deposit their eggs in it. The eggs will hatch into larvae, which then enter the water again and are also, like these beetles, predatory. Now, we mainly offer them a scavenger diet with dead insects and the fish food pellets, but um, that fruit fly was an example of something that we allow them to predate on. Gorgeous beetles. They are about a half inch long. Put my finger down here so you can see size reference for them. And this little one here, we sometimes call mini sunburst diving beetles. That's M-I-N-I, -I, not M-A-N-Y. Lacophilus is the genus for them. And they're always a pleasure to see. And in the same way, isopods and millipede tanks will provide another thing to focus on. Another thing to make observations about and entertain you in the tank. Having a little diversity, I just saw a very tiny beetle scooch down into the corner there. Probably a little water scavenger beetle. Having the diversity of insects in here really makes the tank much more interesting to watch and observe. And that is my temporary sunburst diving beetle tank. I hope you enjoyed it. And for the rest of this video, I'm going to take you down to Sycamore Canyon, where we made a little trip out the other day. 
Not uncommon to see these beetles piggybacking each other, which only serves to remind me that I need to get the land set up here on the surface for them. Thanks for watching. Starting the day off here at Peña Blanca Lake. St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, 2022. Beautiful sunny day. Great area to come down and see birds and insects. Tons of little spiders. Little fish in the creek here. Out here today with Jesse and Courtney. Jesse's older brother, Trey. Trent over here. And my dad. Got a skipper butterfly down here. Resting on that twig. That hole right there. Oh, it's yeah. Backed into there. Yeah, it's a little scarab, I think. Could be one of a million May beetles or something. A little scarab larva of some kind. Tuck it back in there. Oop. Oh. <laughs> I think he bit him. the grass. One of the things that we're doing here today is collecting mosquito larvae for Dr. Larry Reeves. See one there? Immature mosquito. Scoop them in with this. Just pour them in there. Go back for the next one. That one's getting very big. It'll pupate soon. What is it? Oh, the little roaches. Awesome. Yeah, we wanted to start a culture of those. Yeah, yeah, well. Uh -huh. I got about eight or nine of them. Uh -huh. Awesome. Yeah, just in, I'm gonna take a little video of it instead. You might still be right, but I think I did see this as a as a ladybug. It's very reluctant to fly, which is good for filming anyway. Here, of the habitat. And of course the dog content. It's the only, it's the only thing my channel's missing. All important dog content. Except for a good narrator, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't bug that. I'm trying to zoom in on it. I can't find it. That flower? Hiking towards the border of Mexico. Peace. Much farther are we going? 
He's tired. But see a little fish right down there under the rock. Got some water bugs that are creating ripples on the surface. Tranquil little pond.